Hello, classmate sugar. It's Supernatural Coach Rainier Pollard. Today, I am doing a 10-minute arms and abs workout. I'm using eight-pound weights, but you can use whatever feels good for you as long as you're enjoying yourself. Let's get sweaty. We're starting off with the bird dog movement. I want opposite arm and leg reaching out to the T position with the arms. We're really activating the back body here, but it's full core. And when you're being a responsible core trainer, you really want to make sure you're getting in a lot of posterior work. If you want a strong front, you got to have a strong back. What I want to start to do here is take my elbow under the body, back out, open up, and then down. Allow your shoulder to move through this movement so I know your rib cage is moving as well, flexing and extending and breathing through. I like to exhale as I flex, inhale to open back up and down. Just a couple more here, warming up and starting a little fire in that belly in the center of the body. Let's get our final two here. If you've been with me, really letting the center of your body move as much as possible and keeping your shoulder over the wrist of the arm that is pushing through the ground. Last one, down to the ground and turning onto the booty. We're gonna take the arms up to shoulders and notice how I'm sitting tall on my tailbone. I wanna lean back to a 45 degree position like I'm trying to make a nice V when you look at my upper body all the way to my knees. I want you to lean back, brace your center. That means belly button into your spine as you a lean back, uh-huh, a lean back. Thank you, I hope somebody got that. Hold back here, lift up these feet, and let's hold this V-sit. Do not mind if my legs are wobbling right away. My core is tired, and I'm not afraid to admit it, okay? I'm attacking my abs while they're weak, and they will thank me for it while I rest them tomorrow, okay? We have another 10 seconds here, and then we're gonna get on the back and attack, okay? Grab the weight straight away in three, Three, two, and down. I'm grabbing onto my weight, lying back, hands up towards the sky. I want a nice skull crusher position, keeping my elbows straight up to the sky. And you'll notice I am tapping my toes very gently towards the ground. I want a nice one-to-one -one ratio. As my dumbbells are lowering towards the floor, so are my toes, and I drive them back in. Nothing violent. Just nice and easy. Now, if you feel good with your weight, you can move faster and get more reps in in these next 20 seconds. If the weights are feeling heavier for you, slow down and let the burn settle into that muscle. We have seven more seconds here, fighting strong. Four, three, two, and one. We're gonna come on up and sit up Give a little rest to the hip flexors by letting the feet stay on the ground. And from here, hands are gonna be right at the shoulders. Let them come all the way to the ground as you get to that 45 degree position again. And a nice bicep curl sit up. Notice how I'm letting the bicep stretch so that it can flex and feel the burn. This again is the same kind of modification you can lighten up your range of motion if you don't feel good letting the weights go as low. You can do less reps if that's what you need, or you can just stay in there and put me to shame if you're feeling good and you know you're gonna beat me today. Last couple here, lean it back, lean it back. And last bit, I want you to lift up those feet halfway down, nice burnout set right here. Oh, child, I feel it, okay? I feel it. I said this might be a sweat competition as per usual, but we're just focusing in on the core, not the cardio. So maybe this will be my first pop sugar workout where I don't sweat. Will it, could it happen? Could it happen? We're gonna see. We're gonna see. None of you believe. I already do feel like a trickle is coming. 10 seconds, stay strong if you need to. You put those feet on the ground. You see mine wobbling. I'm trying to keep my feet as high as the knees and I'm failing a little bit. Rest, ooh, I felt it. Now we're gonna go back to that bird dog position. 
And this time, I'm gonna get more out of my rear delt by keeping the weight and my elbows nice and locked out. So I open and close, we're gonna start with the singles, opening nice and strong. I like to take a good deep breath as I extend and exhale as it's coming back out. But I want you to do what feels comfortable for you. You could definitely exhale as you come up here because you're exerting the force to lift those arms. But we're gonna do doubles on every side so we can get a little bit more core in there, a little bit more traditional flex underneath of those abdominals. When you're rounding your back and that dumbbell's coming underneath, I want you to think of doing how you feel when your back is doing a bicycle, right? You let your back round because your abs are flexing. I'm trying to do the same thing here when my dumbbell goes to my knee. Huh. And I flex that core, then open up and get that back attack. Less than 20 seconds remaining. Push through that floor and make the core do more. Come on, I was wrong. The sweat's dripping. The sweat's dripping already. <laughs> sweat king for life, do you hear me? You'll never take my crown, never. <laughs> Yes, laughing at my jokes is part of the core work, okay? Do it, get that work in. Now, we're going right back onto the back. We're getting right back into those triceps, but if you feel good, long arms, long legs. So, I'm only doing long legs. I only meant that the long arms are when they lock out at the top, but I'm really trying to focus on taking these Hands right around my ears, tapping the ground, really getting a nice stretch to the triceps. So again, the bigger the stretch, the bigger the flex. If these leg lifts are too much, stick to the bent knee version, tapping the toe to the ground, or just don't take your feet as low. Take it around to that 45 degree angle. Do what feels good for you and that low back as well, really paying attention. That's why we like to work out. It gives us time to communicate with our body. From here, let's sit up, and we're gonna get into a full bicep curl sit down. Sit up. <laughs> well, you gotta go both ways. Why are they only a sit up? Because you have to control the way down too. Who decided that the way, the way up was the only thing that needed to be in the title? This is a sit up and down. I was just being grammatically correct when I said a sit down, goodness. You see how I'm the one blame, I'm, I'm ridiculing myself for getting something wrong and I screamed at you. <laughs> like you were mad at me for calling it a sit down. <laughs> That's how most issues are happening in our head. It's us making fun of us and then somebody else casually mentions something at it and we bark, bite their head off. I'm like, what? You know, I know, I'm getting deep, I'm a philosopher. Let's get them up in the air just like last time. This time, I'm pulsing, I'm pulsing. Oh, at that 45 degree angle, right where that bicep is like, um, you know I'm weak here. You know this is a vulnerable position for me. Why would you expose me like this? I'm doing this for us. You hear me? I'm doing this for us. You better fight 10 seconds. Ah! Seven, six, come on. Oh, three, two. One, very good job. Going right back to those bird dogs. Let's finish them out. Opposite arm and leg, like we're getting doubles from the very start. I bring it under. How much can you get your knee under your body? How much can you connect to your breath? And as I said, I like to inhale as I open. Exhale as I flex those abdominals. Inhale back open, right? This is one of those positions where when you can feel connected to your core doing this movement, you know you're really starting to connect to your body, right? That is another big thing that comes with working out. It, the mind-body connection is just gonna raise, and it's honestly one of the best things that happens with working out, because one of the best things you can have in this life is awareness, okay? Let this body let you know how it's feeling when it's going through it all. Let's get ourselves a good finishing movement and you probably knew what it was gonna be, a plank. How am I gonna go through an entire core workout and not get 
one of the best core exercises out there in there, okay? You have your shoulders over the elbows. If you are tired and you cannot make this full minute, feel free to gently place those knees down without the hips moving with them. I'm gonna stay on those toes because some people like to call me a role model for always staying at the highest option, advanced option here. I'm sure I could think of something harder, but you know what? This is feeling plenty difficult today. I'm just gonna focus on staying here and breathing through. Small sips of air, don't hold your breath. Keep it fighting. I wanna last 10 seconds right here, fight. Fight, you heard me, that's right, fight. You gotta earn the burn. Three, two, one, ease it on down. We're gonna go right into a nice little boat pose here. If you don't wanna join us, feel free to get into a sphinx or up dog position, just like so. I'm gonna grab my right ankle with my right hand, left ankle with my left hand, try to flex my back body to lift my front body. Squeeze that booty, lift the legs, squeeze that upper back, lift the chest. Let's see if we can get a couple more seconds here. Can you gently raise any higher? Deep breath. Five, four, three, two, ease it low. You can take it right to a child's pose position. Have a good deep breath here. Exhale and push it on forward. That's all she wrote for today's arms and abs workout. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't feel enough of the burn, do it again. <laughs> I am Coach Rainier Pollard, letting you know I hope to see you right here on Class Fit Sugar next time.